I know what some of you guys are thinking. Why is Atlas uploading a video so early? Some of you are thinking, we don't care. What's the news? Well, okay, let's go ahead and get focused on the news. By the way, it's because I just couldn't sleep. I'll be going to sleep soon. I was up really, really late. This is a captain's log. This information just coming out a little bit ago. This is an update from the CEO, John Caroni. What is going on with SafeMoon? Before I get into that, I want to let you guys know, as usual, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you guys to go do your own research. And with that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into the news. Captain's Log, June edition. And just like that, we're nearing the last days of June. Sometimes there is more information to share than I can squeeze into a simple tweet. So today I am bringing you an update on security. The SafeMoon card, really good news there, all right? Well, hopefully good news. At least mentioning of the SafeMoon card, right? And our upcoming take on customer success. So in exactly that order, here it goes. First up, security. I am beyond elated to let all of you know we have pioneered a new patent pending and world leading security technology that we're incorporating into all of the SafeMoon FinTech offerings. That's great. I wanna stress that again to you guys. Patent pending. This means that nobody else in the world can offer this, use it, or achieve this level of security unless they're licensing or partnering with us. Furthermore, implementing this technology will allow us to have the most secure and easy to use wallet in crypto. No question, no competition. He's saying that with a big vote of confidence. I like this so far. I would like it more if the patent wasn't pending, it was actually done. But my understanding is that, suppose I read somewhere that if things are patent pending that you could still technically be using them because it's now in that process of pending. But you know, maybe it's also play it safe kind of a thing. We can also bring the technology into other areas. In fact, into all areas of our DeFi ecosystem and FinTech offerings such as cloud enabled infrastructure, secure messaging, as well as additional and future offerings. In addition, we plan to incorporate this encryption standard protocol within Web3 chain compatible stacks as we expand our ecosystem. I mean, you guys tell me what you think that sounds like, but you know what it sounds like to me? It sounds like it could be incorporated in with the SafeMoon blockchain. From the beginning, I've taken the bold position of establishing SafeMoon first and foremost as a technology company. Our security technology is a priority from the inception of any new product or service we seek to bring to life. It remains a pillar upon which SafeMoon will grow. This new security will first be implemented within the SafeMoon app as this will be where SafeMoon card management will exist. We are excited for you to view it for the very first time. We deem this a high enough priority that we are implementing the new security before opening up the new card for registration. Your very first view of this new technology will be within our wallet as one of the first of many encryption enabled projects that are setting a new bar in providing the highest possible protection of our holders data within novel and imaginative ways as our ecosystem develops. Unfortunately, this is pushing the cards premiere beyond our originally stated plan for appearance within quarter two. However, you have our highest assurance that the new and additional security is worth it. We're excited to get the new card into your hands within the SafeMoon app with the new security technology embedded, which be we believe will be well worth the additional wait. So a couple things there. The card is delayed, guys. In addition to that, Looks like the cards technology, we're likely to see that within the SafeMoon app. And then the security aspects to this would be kind of encompassed at the same time. Well, technically coming first, it sounds like. You're invited. 
As a part of this news, I am excited to share that we're inviting you to be part of the new security process. We'll be delivering public test versions of the new technology shortly, so you can get hands on it early and share your feedback on the new experience before the formal release. We'll go into more detail on this in a video in the next week or so, explaining how the new technology works, what it will mean for the user experience, and what it means for the future of SafeMoon as a technology provider. The video wasn't quite ready to post within this log, but I didn't want to wait any longer to share this news. So something else I want to go back to is I said about that whole patent pending element. It sounds like I was right on track with that, right? So if people are very soon going to be getting access to this, then it sounds like it's okay even while it's still pending, unless the patent does finish really soon. So next up, customer success. It's essential that we have the right customer success team in place to service all offerings, especially as they represent new technology. We love our SafeMoon Army community team, but we cannot and will not rely on our community to act as the first line of support in customer success. Doing so would not provide what our participants expect or need. One of the key questions we've recently asked the community to share with us your most memorable customer success moments and stories. We've loved your responses, which underscore even further how vital it is that we get our customer service just right. For a number of reasons, we have now built out a meta layer for our customer success. What is that? Well, as a team, we appreciate that the SafeMoon Army has a diverse set of goals and experiences, and we're aiming to help everyone achieve their own personal goals wherever those may lead. That's a big goal and a bit tricky. That's why we have developed the concept of this meta layer for customer success. The meta layer goes beyond just the support interaction, comprising more subtle elements of education, community, accessibility, and innovation that drive progress, whether the individual SafeMoon Army even realizes it or not. The meta layer is what binds the ecosystem together. It's our way of ensuring that our guiding principles are intrinsic to who we are. It's our DNA. This means that for customer success, that brings in extra and unique aspects of, aspects of support around empathy, understanding, and what the customer journey needs to look like beyond resolution. The long-term long relationship matters. As the customer success team and materials continue to evolve, we'll be using tools such as empathy mapping to really understand what's needed to ensure our customer success is exceptional rather than just, quote, good enough. Here is an example of some of the journey flows we've been busy developing. This isn't final, but it represents the thinking and work that has gone into making our customer experience first class. I hope you pay particular attention to the concept of steady state and evolution as it plays an essential role in the way we approach our customer success as a whole. Here is a blow up of that image, which it is now processing. There we go. Pre-activation. So awareness of card. Customer seeks more information on card. Customer signs up for pre-launch wait list. Customer patiently waits for card availability. Customer notified that they are eligible to apply for card. So that would be the next leading step, right, guys? Customer provided with link for application. Then KYC process begins, user provides all info, decision, and you guys get the point. It just goes through this whole funneling system. So awareness of card, we already got that. Customer seeks more information on card. Well, we've been asking for more information. Customer signs up for pre-launch wait list. That's already currently out. Customer patiently waits for card availability. We've been waiting quite patiently and then becoming a bit more impatient here towards the end of the month now. And then this information came out. Customer notified that they are eligible to apply for a card. All right, so waiting on these next couple steps. Now, going back over here. Wait, what just happened to this? Okay. We're also building out some simple tools to align all of our success agents in their approaches with customers. For instance, we are providing a set of lenses that are always on hand to consider when writing replies or discussion, discussing solutions as follows. Is it kind? Is it empathetic? Is it helpful? Is it reasonable? Is it necessary? It's going to be wonderful not only sharing the full vision for customer success, but also giving you the chance to experience it firsthand. And more. 
I can see from your responses you've been reading and sharing the newest articles emerging from the company's presentations and interviews with some great minds and industry leaders, as well as visits with the members of the Safeman Army we've been delighted to host at our company headquarters. Here's a quick index of the columns I've been sharing on Grit Daily. I've made some videos on those, by the way. I love your feedback on these, and I look forward to sharing additional leadership perspectives and interviews with many additional industry leaders and members of the Safeman community as well. In the August issue of Utah Business Magazine, I'll be sharing my founder's story. We're also formally launching our world-class video production studios within the coming days, so watch for that additional news and ongoing content as well. Again, I thank you for your support from the bottom of my heart. Take care of each other. We are family. We are Safe Moon. Yours, John. That's what I got for you guys in this video. Let us know your guys' thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. I want to say thank you very much to my Patreon supporters. A double shout out thank you to Velimir Brockovich, we love SafeMoon.com, Moret Shaker, Victor Vegas for being higher level patrons. As Safe Moon Oz, really do appreciate it, everybody. And also thank you to my YouTube members. You guys can click the join button down below if you guys would like to show your support there. I do have a referral link for the MEXC Exchange. They have a massive catalog of cryptocurrencies, including SafeMoon. If you want to check that out and you can trade it within the United States, referral link down in the description below. Again, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. Hit the thumbs up, like button. God bless, and I will see you in the next episode.